Now, young basketball players are opening up about the momentum that women's basketball is having and what this next generation of players are hoping to bring. KSHP 41 News reporter Daniela Leone live for us this morning in Park Hill South. Daniela, we don't want to overstate, if that's possible, Caitlin Clark's impact, but we really are seeing changes in so many different fronts and momentum in so many different fronts, including this one. Yeah, that's right. Hey, good morning, Taylor. Well, Park Hill South, which is right behind me, they are home to some of the top girls basketball players in the entire area and even the country. And Kansas City is really taking notice. Take a look at your screen. I just want to show you guys the girls in action. Their coach, Josh Storr, told me attendance has been noticeably up this season, and many of their players are being looked at by top recruits. I asked him what is causing attendance to go up, and he says it's because of his players. Many of them told 1,000 career points at South and coach youth girls basketball. So we got the chance to talk to these players about what's next for women's basketball and how the tournament is really inspiring the next generation of players. Um, I think we kind of got a little spark of it uh, with the Caitlin Clark, but there's so many more players out there in the NCAA that are just like her. And um, I mean, it's going to grow and the popularity. They're looking forward to seeing um, what they can bring to Kansas City. And hopefully my girls will be able to watch those games and be like, that's in my hometown that I could I could do that one day. And just it's very inspirational to them. And it's to, and to me. Yeah, and these girls are done for the season. They did have a divisional conference this Monday, but unfortunately they did lose. However, uh, again, many of them coach youth basketball teams, and so their coach really believes that their involvement in that is really helping the next generation of girls really look forward to high school basketball and even higher. Back to you, Taylor. Daniela, with the players being recruited by top women's college basketball programs, I'm assuming they've had a chance to meet some women's basketball players around the country. Any uh, Caitlin Clark meet and greets out there? Yeah, well, Addison Bajorn, and I didn't realize she was such a beast. Take a look at your screen. She's only a sophomore, and she was actually in Iowa when Kaylin Clark broke the NCAA scoring record. Now, let me tell you about Bajorn, who you see there. She's a sophomore. She already has scored her 1,000 career point here at South and is being recruited by a variety of universities, including the University of Iowa, and is considered one of the top national prospects for the class of 2026. I really talked up Kansas State, but she's still very under decided she's really focused on Park Hill South <laughs> here at the moment but yeah lots to look forward to right <laughs> Daniela pushing wildcat propaganda all the time we appreciate that Daniela on live for us this morning <laughs>